hyphen swash. So this is Dark Cave from 360D. It's time to talk about the best tips and tricks to fix iPhone not pinging your Apple Watch. Thanks to the latest iteration of iOS and watchOS, you can ping your Apple Watch from your paired iPhone. This is a pretty helpful feature and works like a charm. However, recently some users have reported that their iPhone is not able to ping the connected Apple Watch. If you have also experienced the same problem, this video is for you. That said, let's get started. To begin with, make sure you have added the Ping My Watch button to the control center. On your iPhone running iOS 17 or later, head into the settings app. Now scroll down a bit and choose control center. Under the included control section, make sure that the Ping My Watch shortcut has been added. Next, swipe down from the top right corner of the screen to access the control center and then hit the Ping My Watch icon to ping your connected Apple Watch. Note that you can ping your Apple Watch even when it is locked or charging. Notably, you'll be able to play a loud sound on your watch even when it is on your wrist. Another important requirement that you must check off is to make sure that both your iPhone and Apple Watch are within the Bluetooth range or they must be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Bear in mind that if your Apple Watch is out of the Bluetooth range, you will need to use the Find My app to find the smartwatch. If you still can't ping your Apple Watch from your iPhone, I would recommend you to turn off and on the Bluetooth on your iPhone and Apple Watch. Since Bluetooth plays a vital role in this feature, there is a good chance that giving it a soft reset will let you resolve the problem. On your iPhone, swipe down from the top right corner of the screen to bring up the control center. Then tap on the Bluetooth icon to turn it off. Now restart your iPhone, and once your device has rebooted, turn on Bluetooth. And on your Apple Watch, go to the Settings app and then select Bluetooth. After that, turn on the switch right next to Bluetooth. And then reboot your Apple Watch and turn on Bluetooth. More often than not, a first restart can help you overcome a minor watcher's issue. Therefore, we will bank on this neat solution to fix this problem as well. To do so, press and hold the side button and the digital crown at once until the Apple logo comes up on the screen. Should the problem persist, it would be better to first reset the iPhone as well. What makes it so handy is the ability to flush out temporary files, which often works wonders in fixing miscellaneous software glitches. To do so, press and release the volume up button, then press and release the volume down button, and after that, press and hold the side button of your iPhone until the Apple logo appears on the screen. For some Apple Watch users, removing the Ping My Watch shortcut and re-adding it did the trick. Hence, we will give this effective solution a chance as well. To do so, open the Settings app on your iPhone. After that, select Control Center. Then tap on the red minus button to the left of Ping My Watch. Then reboot your iOS device. After the device has restarted, go back to the control center section and then hit the plus button to the left of Ping My Watch button to add it to the control center. Next up, I will recommend you to reset the network settings on your iPhone. When it comes to resolving a network related issue on iPhone, resetting the network settings has long been my savior. Therefore, I'm going to bank on it to troubleshoot this problem as well. On your iPhone, navigate to the settings app. Then select General. After that, scroll down to the bottom of the screen and choose Transfer or Reset iPhone. Then select Reset. After that, select Reset Network Settings. And then enter your device passcode and confirm the action. If the issue continues to raise its head, update the software on your paired iPhone and the Apple Watch. To do so, open the Settings app on your iPhone. Then select General. After that, select Software Update, and then download and install the latest version of iOS as usual. And to update your Apple Watch, go to the Watch app on your paired iPhone. Then select General. After that, choose Software Update, and then download and install the latest version of watchOS as usual. And finally, I would recommend you to unpair your iPhone from the Apple Watch and reconnect them. Thanks to the automatic backup feature that gets into action at the time of unpairing process, you shouldn't be concerned about losing your Apple Watch data. To do so, launch the Watch app 
on your iPhone. Then select General. After that, scroll down to the bottom of the screen and choose Reset. Then tap on Erase All Content and Settings and confirm the action. Then open the Watch app on your iPhone and follow the usual instructions to pair your Apple Watch with the iPhone again. And that's pretty much it. So these are the best tips and tricks to fix iPhone not pinging Apple Watch problem. Hopefully you have gotten the better of the issue. Now that you have sorted out the problem, let me know your feedback and the tips that have done the trick for you. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye-bye.